All right, it's the Picklin Parson here, and I'm getting ready to spice around something I've never done before. This is a recipe from the Wynn family. Sissy Wynn Thompson uh, told me this about this 20 years ago when I was at her house at a party. Uh, it was a congregational care party, and she said, come here, preacher, I want you to see something. She took me back into her pantry, and there was this big 30-pound hunk of beef that was in a 10-pound crock brining and she said it was a spiced round it'd been part of their family for over a hundred years so here i go this is the first step and this is basically creating uh, the spice stuffing i've got all spice and i've got ground um, cloves and red pepper ground red pepper ground cayenne pepper and uh and then some cracked pepper and so it looks like this and uh, a really brown mixture. And I also put in a little bit of brown sugar, which is, um, is part of the recipe as well. So I'm going to take it over here. And I've been preparing some lard. You can use suet, beef suet, or you can use lard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... take the spices and put them in the lard. I'm going to mix that in really well. And then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator overnight after I pour it into a cookie sheet. My father-in-law Dale said that'd be the best way to cut it into a pencil-sized little spiced lard pieces that we're going to stuff in the holes that we're going to poke in this 30 pound round so that you get the spices thoroughly mixed into the round. Now I need to say it's Thanksgiving Day and we have 16 people coming over for lunch so I'm indebted to my my camera lady, who is my wife, Tammy, for letting me do this on Thanksgiving Day with such a party coming. So I'm really pushing my luck is what I'm saying. But this is the first step. So what we'll do is we'll make sure this lard and spices are all mixed up. We're gonna pour it into the cookie sheet and then put it in the refrigerator. And tomorrow, We'll show you what that looks like as we start the process of spicing the round and then putting the round down into a brine mixture where it will stay wrapped up in a cloth for a week. Then we'll turn it and then it'll stay another week. So this is gonna be ready by Christmas. So it's not a fast process, but according to the Wynn family, it's delicious. So, signing off for now.